Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of class 11 physics practical session. Today we will do Hooke's law experiment. I suggest you to check our previous video for your better understanding. You can also check our viva voice questions in www.labcafe.com/blog. You can also download the manuals for the same experiment. The aim of the experiment is to find the force constant of a helical spring by plotting a graph between load and extension. Apparatus required. To do this experiment, we need a Hooke's law apparatus, a slotted wedge, a graph paper, a ruler, a pencil. Hooke's law apparatus consists of a stand with base. There is a boss and clamp attached to the stand. A linear spring is hanging from the rigid support which is called boss head parallel to the stand. A wet hanger is suspended to the other end of the spring. There is a pointer fixed at the hook of the spring which moves up and down on loading and unloading weights to the spring respectively. The scale is printed on a mirror is fixed on the stand vertically to the base gives the reading of displacement by the spring. According to Hooke's law if a load f is suspended from lower free end of a spring from a rigid support the length increases by amount x then f is proportional to x or f equals to kx where k is the constant of proportionality it is called force constant or spring constant if x equals to 1 then from above equation f equals to k hence force constant of spring may be defined as the force required to produce unit extension in spring so force constant k equals to force by extension equals to mg by x where g is the acceleration due to gravity which is 980 cm per second square before we proceed it is important to set up the hooke's law apparatus correctly so let's do that a hooke's law apparatus comes with a base a stand a centimeter scale printed on the mirror a boss head a pointer attached with the spring a weight hanger and slotted weights each of the slotted weights are 20 grams first fix the stand to the base strongly with the given nut by using a plier Then fix the reading scale printed on the mirror on the wooden structure with the help of two screws. After that, fix the boss head comes with the spring to the stand. Tighten the screw firmly. At this point, make sure that the pointer is not touching the mirror. If so, adjust the nuts in the arrangement from where the spring is hanging. The apparatus is now set up and ready for experiment. Procedure: Once the apparatus is set up correctly, place it on the table. The scale is in centimeter. There are 10 divisions between 0 to 1. So, the least count of the scale is 1 by 10 equals to 0.1 cm. The hanger has a weight of 20 g hanging from the hook. Now, I will adjust the boss head on the vertical mirror structure such that the tip of the pointer comes over the divisions of the scale without touching it. Once the pointer is stable look at the pointer such that the image cannot be seen which means the pointer and its image remains at the same line we can say the parallax is removed at this moment take the reading of the position of the tip of the pointer on the scale 
here it is 0.7 cm. Record it in the loading column against zero load. After that, I will gently load 20 gram slotted weight to the hanger. The pointer tip moves down. Once the pointer tip comes to the rest, take the reading of the position of the tip of the pointer on the scale. As you can see, it is 5.3 cm. Record it in loading column against 20 grams in the table. Repeat the same till 4 slotted weights have been added. You must be careful if the maximum load does not exceed the elastic limit of the spring. After loading 4 slotted weights, gently remove 1 from the hanger. The pointer tip moves up. Once the pointer is rest, take the reading. Here it is 14.5 cm. Record it in loading column against 60 grams in the table. Repeat the same procedure until only the hanger is left. You can also observe that when no slotted weight are loaded, the reading is 0.7 cm. After taking the readings, I have plotted the load versus extension graph. I have taken F on the X axis and X on the Y axis. The scale factor is on X axis 10 division equals to 20 grams and on Y axis 10 divisions equals to 2 cm or 1 division equals to 0.2 cm. The graph comes to be a straight line for both loading and unloading. The straight line should pass through the origin, but in our case it is not, which means there is a small experimental error occurred. I have taken a point C on the straight line. The slope of the straight line is the spring constant. Therefore, spring constant K equals to BC by AC which is 50 by 12 or K equals to 4.17 gram weight per centimeter. If the value of K is high, it is more difficult to stretch. Precautions Loading and unloading of weight must be done gently. Reading is to be noted only when the tip of the pointer comes to the rest. The pointer tip should not touch the scale surface. Loading should not be beyond the elastic limit of the spring. So, these are the step-by-step -step procedure to perform Hooke's law experiment. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends. Feel free to comment in the comment section. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will see you in the next video.